I am so in love with this color combination neon green by Deco Art and phthalo blue by Artist Loft. The acrylic pour dahlia flower is just radiant. I created this beautiful dahlia by simple pouring acrylic paint in a circle and then swiping it outward with a spoon. Check out today's creation video guys, you're gonna love it. Hello everyone, it's Camille. Welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank you all for being here. Today I will be working on a 10 inch round canvas and I've already poured my white base by Artist Loft on the canvas. All right, and I'm working only with two colors, Neon Green by Deco Art and <clears throat> Thalo Blue by Artist Loft. The consistency of the paint, I actually mix the paint one part paint to three parts pouring medium. I use the Artist Love pouring medium. The paint leaves a mount on a mount. So after you mix it, guys, if you need to add water to it, you can, you know, add water to get the consistency that you want. It leaves a mount on a mount, it, then it slowly disappears. It's, I wouldn't say it's thick, but you know, it definitely needs to be on the, on the thick side, all right? If it's too thin, it's gonna get eaten up by that white paint. And actually, even the white paint has to be of the same consistency. But what I do, I spread the white paint thin. I don't leave too much white paint on the canvas. All right, it's very important not to leave too much paint on the canvas if you do decide to give this technique a try. <clears throat> you know guys, I did a rainbow um, dahlia bunch you know flower on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and then I, I put this color combination green and blue and I was so amazed at how beautiful that color combination was for the dahlia and I, and I thought you know let me do this on a bigger canvas you know something a flower by itself so I tried it and I love it this color combination is just amazing I I'm in awe. <laughs> I, you know, I, I do my experiment. I do love to try different color combinations. And this one to date is one of my favorites. So, you know, guys, if you do decide to try this, remember that when you're swiping with the spoon, you know, you need to wipe your spoon clean at each time you swipe. Okay. It's very important. You need a clean spoon. And um, it's very important too that you be as light-handed as you can with this uh, technique okay you don't want to you know swipe too deep into the white paint but it's okay if you do you just want to lightly glide the paint it's like you're, you're gliding the paint across the white base okay and you see when I said that all the consistency have to be the same if that white paint was thin I'm telling you if it was thinner then the colors it would have probably sink or you know we say get eaten up so the colors would have just disappeared into the white so you just need to mix your paint you know at the right consistency and um, you have a go at it and don't be don't be afraid it looks difficult but I'm telling you guys it's fun this actually took me 40 minutes 45 minutes to create this this uh, piece <clears throat> It's not at all, it's not time consuming, it's just that I like to be patient. I love to take my time and uh, create my dahlias, you know. So be patient with yourself, guys. Give yourself the time to learn a new technique or learn something fun. And um, yeah, just be creative, guys. Just be creative, okay? Do something look back at it and say you know what wow I created that that's what I want for you and um, you know it's just important that you guys take pride in your work and love your work okay look at this this is my first layer of my dahlia and I'm so in love someone asked me I've, I, I got asked this question a lot you know if I let the paint dry in between each coat in between each um, swipe in between each layers but no as you guys can see no i did not okay the base is still wet everything is wet i just 
add um, the layers and steps and I swipe then when I'm completed completed that layer I go again with another layer so you guys just watch the entire process and let me know what you think about it you know let me know what you think about this color combination it's just amazing don't you guys think let me know leave me a comment in the comment section and if you guys are new to my channel I want to say welcome really do appreciate you being here and um, if you haven't subscribed as yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell you guys have to hit the bell and hit all so that you're notified each time I post a new video all right I do want to share all my creations um, you know I want to inspire someone to get up and try something different okay and just think outside of the box all right guys so do stay tuned um, you know for the close-up coming up of the wet result and I will see you guys there don't go away thank you
here it is the close-up I love it I love the center I love how deep that blue that phthalo blue looks it's just amazing and I decided to eliminate the green from the center layers because I wanted to show you know the depth that deepness in the blue you know I um, it's okay with the outside I do love the entire composition of this dahlia it's just unique it's beautiful and the neon green gives it some glow and I do love the center where the white gives it that you know uh, like a like a highlight you know it's just amazing the, the, the white tip is beautiful what do you guys have to say about this one leave me a comment give me a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family it's just amazing when it comes to acrylic pouring you know the result that you get can be so surprising you know it's not like using a paintbrush or you're drawing with a pencil with the fluid art it's a surprise you never know what you're gonna get and I'm telling you how the paint reacts with each other simple amazing love it love it love it uh, you know so welcome to the fluid art guys welcome to the acrylic pour painting I do hope that uh, this video will inspire someone to try this technique you know use a spoon to create beautiful flowers guys check out my playlist and i will see you next time on camila moy art bye